Folks, now it's time to learn something new in VLOOKUP. What do I mean? Let me explain on screen. Look over here on my screen. I have three different tables. This is my table number one. Now here it is my table number two. Okay, and here it is my table number three. So now my task is, look over carefully in these tables. I have a bill number column in table number three and I have a bill number column similarly as table number two and table number one. But the bill number is different from every table. Now my task is to fetch the data from these three tables. And if I enter a bill number, any bill number from these three tables, I should get the relevant product and quantity information. I should be able to fetch the data from these three tables. So it means that this is a, a multi-table VLOOKUP. If you don't know how to apply VLOOKUP on multiple tables, then this is the video for you guys. Watch till then, then you'll come to know about it. And before moving ahead, let me tell you guys, you guys are forget to hit the like button. Also uh, forget to write the comment if you like really this video write comment that will be appreciating me guys and also if you have some sort of feedback you can write the comment to guys and also if you are new to the channel then consider subscribing okay so now it's time to learn multiple table we look up so let's go ahead and jump onto this but before we had let me tell you one more thing i already uploaded one to seven videos of this particular we look up formula right now if you haven't watched it just go into the description i have put down the playlist link and check it out. For now, we are going to start the multiple table we look up. Let's go ahead. So folks, as I showed you in the introduction, we have three different tables. Data 1, Data 2 and Data 3. Our task is to retry records from all these tables based on the bill number we enter over here. For example, if I enter a bill number from the table 1 that is data 1, I should get the product and quantity from the table 1 that is our data 1 table. If I enter the bill number from the table 2, I should get the product and quantity over here from the table 2. And lastly, if I enter the bill number from the table 3, which ranges between 1021 to 1030, I should receive the product name and quantity from the table 3, that is data 3. To retrieve this data, we are going to use VLOOKUP. However, before using VLOOKUP, we need to apply some sort of logic using conditions, like using if conditions, which I'll explain you later on. But before that, we need to apply the names for this table means I want to assign the name ranges for these particular tables. In order to assign a name ranges for these tables, I have to select each and every table. So to do this, select the specific table. So I have select the first table that is a data one table starting from bill number column to quantity column. I have selected the complete range of this table. Once I select in order to assign the name for this particular range, we will click in the name box, which is available over here. Let me zoom it and let me show you now. I'm going to assign a simple name for this particular table that is a data one. You can assign table one, you can assign any name, but remember while assigning name, you cannot include a space between characters or you cannot start with numbers. You should add a text first and then you can add numbers too, but there should not be space. So this is my data one. It is our first table. And once I type the name in the name box, I'll press enter key on keyboard. The data one name is applied successfully for this particular table. Now, next, I'm going to select the table two. That is our data two. Once I select the proper columns, now I'm going to click on name box. Here it is inside name box. I'm going to type data two. Once I type the data two, I'll press enter key on keyboard. And now you can see data two name is properly assigned for this particular data. Now select the next data that is our table three. And similarly, I'm going to type a name for this particular table that is data three. Just press enter key on keyboard. Now you will able to see that name is applied successfully. And why we have applied these names, I'll explain you later on. Now it's time to apply VLOOKUP next to product and quantity. However, I won't directly insert the formula just yet. Instead, I will first explain the logic behind it because we have different bill numbers in the bill number column, which is present in table one, table two and table three. 
The bill number column in table 1 contains bill numbers ranging from 1001 to 1010. In table 2, the bill number column contains bill numbers from 1011 to 1020. And in table 3, bill number column contains 1021 to 1030. To retrieve data from these tables based on their respective bill numbers, of course, we are going to use VLOOKUP formula, but we need to apply some sort of logic that is a if condition logic. If condition it's quite simple I'll demonstrate you the formula to help you understand it clearly first type is equal to if then press tab key once you press the tab key on keyboard this will display the syntax of if condition which includes three arguments logical test value if true value if false right let's apply the logic test first I'm going to select this bill number where I'm going to enter a bill number if this bill number is less than or equal to one zero zero means I'm going to target first a uh, data one if it is less than one zero one zero means I'm going to apply condition for all the bill numbers of table one if it is less than one zero one zero then I'll put down a comma inside here look over there value of true the value of true will be a data one means I'm going to type a data one here why I'm going to write a data one because I already apply the name for this particular range once I type the data one you can see this particular table is selected great right now I'll put down a comma again and there is one more argument required for the if condition but I'm not going to close this if condition instead closing I'm going to open another if because I have two more tables so here it is I'm going to apply again if condition if logic test I'm going to select this number if this number whatever the number I'm going to enter in this particular cell if this number is less than equal to 1020 here I'm considering the second table last bill number right if the bill number whatever I'm going to enter in this box if it is less than 1020 it should pick the table that is data 2 now I'm going to type a data once I type the data you can see the drop down list is there I'm going to press the tab key it will be automatically selected look at that now there may be question in your mind sir you are putting condition F17 means this particular bill number if it is less than equal to 1020 then it should reflect the data too but what about this particular bill number 1030 or these are the bill numbers which is already less than this 1020 but this is not from the data 2 it is in a data 1 but let me tell you guys this if conditions applies FIFO method FIFO method means first in first out or first in means our first logic that is F17 is less than equal to 1010 so if the bill number is less than 1010 already then it will pick uh, this one table it is not going to take this condition right so this if condition works with the FIFO method first in first out this is our first in the bill number is less than 1010 then it will pick a data one and it is not going to move to the next condition if it is not less than equal to 1010 then it will move to the next condition that is 1020 okay got it so now I'll put down a comma again and here it is the next condition if open bracket I'm going to select this cell if it is less than equal to 1030 and there should be a data three data three i'm going to type a dat once i type it i'll press the tab key by selecting data three and that's it i'll close it no need to go further for uh, false condition just close all the brackets or else you don't need to close it excel can understand it once you press enter key let's press enter key excel will close the bracket for you and that's it now look at here first table appears over here if you are using latest version of Excel you will able to see this kind of the table reflection over here but if you are using Excel older version like 2013 or 2010 maybe if you enter the bill number you will not get anything you will get only the bill number text or maybe you are not getting anything but if you are using new version like 2021 or 2019 so once you enter the bill number you will able to see that table this is our uh, table uh, one that is data one if I enter any bill number from the table two if it is like uh, 1017 I'm getting complete data from the table two and if I enter any bill number from the table three which is uh, 1022 I'll get the data Data from table 3 so why I have created this formula why I have applied the logic over here let me explain you I'm just I'm just doing one thing right now I'll just cut this formula from here control X and instead of uh, this formula right now I'm going to type we look a formula here what I did I'll just delete this one I already uh, cut that formula because I'll store that formula in a clipboard now I'll do one thing I'll is press is equal to sign I'll type the VLOOKUP formula then first 
argument is lookup value everybody knows that then i'll click on lookup value this is our lookup value then i'll put down a comma the next one it is our table array but now in our case table array is not a single table so you cannot select the first table or you cannot select the second table or you you cannot select like this also this is a wrong method so instead of selecting this we are going to paste that whatever we have cut it earlier that is our if condition formula we are going to paste here why i am pasting this particular uh, formula over here because this e formula will pick a dynamic table from this particular range how it is going to pick if the bill number is from this range it will pick a table 3 if the bill number is coming from this particular range then it will pick a table data 2 that is and if the bill number is coming from table 1 then it will pick a data 1 because we have assigned it properly now once you assign or once you add a table array this is our table array now this is a dynamic table array. this is called a dynamic table array and we have made a logic this is the logic that you have to learn if you have multiple tables like this okay so now i'm putting a comma once i put the comma you'll get the column index number in order to get the column index number you know that there is a column index number right now product and for product i'm going to i'm going to write a hardcore value for this you instead of hardcore you can go and apply the logic of row uh, formula that is row minus something like that i have already explained in older videos but right now i'm going to put only a two so once i add a two then i'll put down a comma again and there is a range lookup range lookup must be zero that is exact match i'm going to close the bracket once i close the bracket i'll press enter key and you will able to see led wow great now you can drag this formula to get the quantity but in order to drag the formula you know that we need to fix this particular cells so i'm going to fix these cells so i'm going to select all these cells and by pressing f4 i'm going to fix it okay once i fix it i can drag this formula but still i'm getting led because uh, i have to change this particular column index number i can make it dynamic also but right now i'm just putting three to get it the values exactly now let's let's have a look this if i'm entering any bill number from the table two oh i'm getting a record from the table two which is exactly correct which is exactly correct right if i'm entering any bill number from the table one yes which is exactly correct and if i'm entering any bill number from the table three which is 1029 uh, which is exactly correct wow so this is the formula guys and this is the logic you can apply if you have multiple tables so assign a proper names for the tables and it will allow you to make them dynamic using the if condition the if condition is a logic function i have covered in a many of my videos if you haven't watched those videos head over to my channel and check them out if you like this video then hit the like button and consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and if you want to learn certified skill courses then check out my courses the link is in the description thank you very much for watching see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye guys